I am Nina Mata and I am a children's book illustrator and today I am so excited to be here and to talk to you about my new book Me Chair written by Ashley Woodfolk and illustrated by me. Hello! <laughs> now this book was a lot of fun to illustrate. I got to do a lot of hair textures which I love. I got to draw everything that I love about the beach and the ocean and all that good summer vibe. Um, my, I think my most favorite part about drawing this book was the seagulls. The seagulls had a life of their own. They had a story on their of their own and I just loved adding them more, wherever I can and whenever I could. Today I want to do something fun with you. Let's draw a seagull from beach hair and yeah let's make it a fun one. Okay, let's dive in here. We are going to be making the seagull. I am using Photoshop and my favorite pencil brush. You are free to use whatever tool you like. This sketch works on paper and pencil just as well. So to start, I'm gonna be making an upside down U shape. And then right in the bottom of that, we're going to be creating um, sort of a watermelon wedge and then some triangles let's add another triangle and then the feet this doesn't have to be perfect it's just a sketch it's just our foundation and then inside we're going to create another watermelon like wedge where we where the body is now we are going to add some details like hair, some eyes. For the beak, it is simple. It's just a big long oval in the middle of that U-shape that we created. And yeah, that should be it for now. I'm going to resize this just because I think I drew it too small. Um, if I'm going too fast, just, just um, feel free to pause and just go at your own pace. Now we're just going to add some pebbles, sand, hints of grass, just to kind of hint where our seagull is located and most likely at the beach. So yeah, this is it. This is our sketch. This is our base. I am going to be moving on to color from here. And if you are drawing on pencil, you can pause this video or just watch me color this digitally. So from here, I am probably going to speed up this recording because coloring is just really tedious and it's just going to be too long. So let's speed this up for you. Um, but yeah, so what I started out with first was I locked my layer sketch, created a new layer for the coloring, and changed the layer sketch to the opacity to 30%. And I usually start with the eyes and the, any physical traits that go over the main body. And yeah, so it really helps to have a color palette already on standby so that I am just going. I picked, I color picked these out from the seagulls that are in beach hair. So now that the top layers are filled in, I start filling in the main body. And then the, his feet or her feet or their feet. <laughs> and then I proceed to add, you know, all the little details like the blush, the rocks and pebbles. I, for them, I'm just color picking. For most of them, I'm just color picking at the existing palette that I have. And maybe adding some green and pinks for the shell and grass. 
Um, if you're wondering what kind of brushes I'm using, I am using a gouache pastel. So it's it's textured. Most of my brushes are textured and it starts off transparent so I could layer it on um, however much I need to layer it on, like actual painting. Um, I also like to utilize my eraser. Like for example, I used the eraser to remove the top corners of the tail. And I also use sharp lines to erase in between the tail to create that feathery effect. And for the sand, I also used another dry textured brush. You know, these brushes are things I've collected over the years and I've really played around with and gotten to love. Um, yeah, and then from there, I'm just adding little details of, of feathers or more shadowing. <laughs> and that is it. Thank you guys so much for coloring with me today and sketching. I hope you guys had fun. I sure did. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.